You are not giant. You are not giant of Africa. You never reach your dogo. Now David do be your dogo. You know, now David do be your dogo. I don't know you. I don't know you. David do is the only dogo we know. It is not always difficult to figure out those who wants to shade others, especially the artists who want to shade others in the music industry, because they will always start with this bold statement. I know they fear anybody, Papa. I will say it the way it is. So when I heard Beidre Sabut Karim saying that very line, I knew he was about to drop something that was going to hit somebody very important in the music industry, and it actually went and hit Bonaboy. And many people are actually expecting that Bonaboy wouldn't respond. Who wouldn't actually, except Whiskey, of course, he's always minding his business, smoking his thing, minding his kids, and that's all. If anyone is actually satisfied and doesn't see anything wrong with what Idris Abud Karim said and how he said it, then you must really have a thing against Bonaboy. Let's tell ourselves the truth. I got a lot of enemies. Some of them used to be my friends. As a legend in the industry, I expected more from Idris Abud Karim, but he actually disappointed me a little bit by going after somebody who never mentioned his name and the approach in which he actually mentioned his name. What is the point of calling out someone's name in that manner where this person has actually granted a lot of interviews and had never mentioned your name? This is to tell you that it's either you love him but don't want to admit it, which is okay, it's actually a thing of the music industry. Idris has been in the music industry long enough to understand that Bonner Boy and Davido are not that friends' friends in the music industry. We all know this. What is the point of going public to compare Davido and Bonner Boy? I don't understand. No matter what question that was thrown at you, I believe you are mature enough to understand that you can actually skip that. I've seen lots and lots of musicians, I've seen lots and lots of people, actors, go on air to address an issue and at the end of the day, skip certain questions because they know that they will always come off as insensitive. What is the point of you opening your mouth Why? and saying things? Normally, I know that Bonner Boy would have ignored you, but knowing that you actually compared him to David Doe was the bone of content. <laughs> that aside, that aside. That is what I expected you to do as an OG in the industry. If you feel that the problem you are having or the music industry is having is Bonner Boy bearing the name Giant of Africa. I expected you to call David Doe as an OG in the industry. You are ordained by the music industry to give title to whomever you think that deserves it. So I expected you to call David Doe and give him the title that he deserves. If you really think that he truly deserves it to be called the Giant of Africa. You are ordained by default in the music industry as an OG to confess such title. But you fell that area and went to podcast and start Black. Now the question of who the real giant of Africa is, is really intriguing and worthy of consideration and deliberating upon. That is the reason why I'm here in the first place. You can't get the real truth. You can't actually get the real truth if you are actually subjective about this. You must have to be objective in your opinion to get to real fact. And that is exactly where we are coming in. A lot of Nigerians are actually calling out Bonaboy and asking for his head because of the way he responded to Idris Abud Karim and calling it insensitive. But I'm not surprised actually. Many Nigerians are actually known to be this way. They hurt you and tell you how to react or how you should cry. That is a witchcraft-like mentality. Trust me. Now many Nigerians are actually with Idris Abud Karim and criticizing Bonaboy for what he said on Twitter. Forgetting that Bonaboy was on his own, minding his business and smoking his thing before this stray bullet got to him. Best thing good day when I go to find in trouble. Now, the reason why I find this argument worthy of consideration and deliberating upon is because long before now, this argument has been done behind the scene and many of us have not been able to answer to it objectively. If we decide to take a vote on that, to decide who truly is the giant of Africa in the soils of this country, the video is really going to sweep Bonaboy's feet. 80%. There's a lot of tidy bitches here that you can never imagine. But then, there's a twist to that. If you decide to take that same vote outside the shores of this very country, <laughs> I'm not talking about the African countries, I'm talking about European countries. I'm talking about other continents that you would say that will find it almost impossible to love Afrobeats. If you take the same vote out there, I can tell you that David Doe is really going to come back home with nothing. I just, to highlight few things Bonaboy has done in the music industry that has actually exported the image of Nigeria and the image of Afrobeats to places where nobody would have believed 
it would have gone to. Bonaboy is the only African artist to be nominated for the Best Music World Album category in the Grammy. He was still the first African artist to perform at the Brit Award. He was still the very first African artist to headline the Coachella Valley Art and Music Festival. Bonaboy is not traditionally a streaming artist. That is not where he actually gets more revenues. Bonaboy gets his revenues mostly based on tours and brand ambassadorship to powerful companies. That is the reason why you can never get him or catch him anywhere doing any challenges or sampling any of his songs for challenge. No, 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 The name Giant of Africa is not something he traditionally decides for himself. It is a title he actually earns for himself. Again, I say Davido is a wonderful artist. It actually takes music skill to compose a particular song for a group of people which they actually welcome. It takes modern skill to compose a song almost the world welcomes. This is where Bonner Boy gives Davido an edge. I don't know how you're going to say this, but trust me, the 30 BG fans all over the world, the 30 BG fans all over Nigeria, understand that I am not here to criticize anyone, but I'm here to give you real-time data. This is not really up for argument. You can actually conduct a research and find out exactly where the both of them are actually love the most. It doesn't necessarily matter where you actually love the most, as long as the love there is enough for you. It's fine. It doesn't matter if you actually love more here in Nigeria. It doesn't matter if you actually love more in other continents. As long as you are comfortable with it. This is the reason why David Doe stays here in Nigeria often. And this is the reason why Bonaboy and people like Whiskey stays abroad. Because they know that these are the places they are loved the most. They work with real-time data. And as long as data is concerned, they are going to always be with the people who love them the most. And these people don't mind paying huge amounts to come their shows, grace their shows, and make them way more wealthy. Why would you come back home and stay where you have your riches and wealth over there? <laughs> so that's by the way. So this is it. The video is actually a king here, but not really other places where Bonaboy has actually stepped into. This is just real fact, and this is where it stops.